Hey everybody, welcome back. Wait, that's not what I say. Hey, you filthy animals. Welcome back to the Benny, Mike, and Jackson show. Hey gang, so in the time it took for us to get some decent weather or actually act inclement weather for this video, tragedy has struck. That's right. The Chrysler 300 in an accident. So, um, not at fault, thank goodness, and everybody's okay, aside from uh, some injured hands on my behalf. Uh, the other guy, he's all right, fine. He had airbags deploy. My car, we're going through right now. I'm afraid it is going to be totaled. We'll see. I'll throw some photos up or whatnot, but maybe make a post of it later. But So what we're trying to do right now is schedule some days where dry, warm pavement, rain and snow where both Mike and I can meet and then also kind of uh, drive side by side and just test the abilities of the rear wheel drive and the all wheel drive. So while we're doing that, uh, that's where I ran into an accident. So I wasn't able to get any outside film of the vehicle. So overall, this video isn't really up to the quality that I was wanting. Um, it's just, you know, some inside shots of the speedometer. You can hear the wheel spin, but I think it'll give you an idea of what we're looking for or what the difference is between the performance of the all-wheel drive versus the rear-wheel drive version. Uh, today, we're here to find out what is better, rear-wheel drive, Chrysler 300, or all-wheel drive. So Mike is my brother-in-law. We're both in love with, uh, I guess, sisters, and then Chrysler 300. So we both picked them up. Uh, the cars uh, at a similar time of life so but the main difference uh, between mine and his is his is all-wheel drive whereas mine's rear-wheel drive what's another difference between them you got sunroof I have no sunroof okay and so we want to get the weights of them as well we'll have to do that a couple of different things on other days but we do want to get the weights because we think that glass is going to be quite heavier than just the thin metal roof and then the other major difference uh we just found this out when he was doing his brake job uh not too long ago is that the all-wheel drives have beefier brakes so they have a dual piston caliper and i think the actual discs are are a different size larger yeah. even though the all-wheel drives have 19 inch ribs so we both have a little bit of envy on each other's cars i, I presume maybe you don't want something but i definitely want larger brakes because i got the kick-ass beats audio oh yeah beats audio yeah so i got more speakers than you okay so there's that <laughs> but uh <laughs> yeah. but what we're gonna do is go out um here it's it's rather cool out today even though the asphalt is dry so he will be in all-wheel drive Correct. and i'll be in rear-wheel drive we'll take a couple hits maybe one just like right off of idle and then maybe a couple like off of 1000 1500 rpm so you know, where you're putting a little bit of a flash on the torque converter that way we can find out under what circumstances is all-wheel drive better than rear-wheel drive maybe it's even better on dry pavement but i want to get another one where it's warmer out where you're in two-wheel drive as well so we can see what the difference is in all-wheel drive when it's only in the two-wheel drive mode against rear-wheel drive. And then we're also going to find some, uh, I'm hoping here in the next few weeks, wet weather and then snowy weather. It is mid-January here, despite Jackson showing off his pearly whites, I mean his legs. I guess I was right both times. So what do you guys say? Let's uh, hit it, uh, drive down to an uh, undisclosed location near Guadalajara, Mexico, and uh, make a few hits. Let's get it on. Nice. All right, it's, it's working. Check, check, check. Yeah, that's perfect. I'll keep that in. All right, so this is drive pavement, all-wheel drive for Mike. We're both just in a regular drive. We're not sporting anything, and we're just going to hit it on three. Are you ready? Ready. One, two, three. Spoke that fool. So I think I got a little bit of a hit. On ya. All right. All right. Let's try it. Let's go in sport this time. And foot brake it to like 1500 RPM. One, two, three. Oh, look at that. Nice. You reeled me in. That's pretty good. One, two, three. I wanted to let him get that. 
All right, uh, 1500 again. One, two, three. Action. I like that. All right, so the last few times he's been walking away pretty nicely. This time I'm gonna have traction control off. I don't know if that, if my car is pulling power maybe. Uh, to make sure it doesn't spin the tires, but I haven't been breaking them loose, so. One last time, go for it. All right, 1,500. One, two, three. Didn't, I mean, didn't spin. Got me again. Uh, I'm just gonna have to sell this. <laughs> nice, man, let's just go on back. Losers walk, that's us flip your traction control off. I went ahead and flipped mine too that last go around. I mean, it still kept it in all wheel drive. Yeah, so. I turned the traction control off. Quite surprising. Um, I, I guess really to me is like, I thought it'd be a little bit more evenly matched, but your car definitely pulled away in all circumstances on dry pavement. Uh, you were in all wheel drive the whole time, but my car wasn't traction limited. So I would think that once it's warmer out and we race yours in two wheel drive as well, well, You'll beat me by a larger amount. Um, yeah, just consistently quicker. What are your thoughts? I mean, what were you thinking I of? The one time you got me good on the jump, though, was yeah. when we was just in regular mode. And I'm still, because we're below 40 degrees here, I'm always in all-wheel drive. That was the one time you took me from the start. Maybe I yeah. got a little slow jump. I don't know. But then, even then, you were starting to reel, reel slowly, reel it in, walk away. So, um, safe to say, out of the two cars, currently yours is quicker. Um, ah, these Amazon fucking cups. Uh, but yeah, man, I, I was pretty, pretty fun. So we'll see what it's like in the rain and in the snow next, and then that's when we'll post up. All right, let's just do one, and then up here, about a mile on the right is 900. We're gonna turn right, and that'll take us to Stylesville, that light. All right, um, just from off idle, you ready? Walking easy from me. Nice. All right, not Might bad. Been a smidge early on that one. Not, that's fine, I think. All right, I'm gonna put my traction control back on. We'll do this. will be the last one, I think. Ready? What you're about to see next is the best we could do for performance in snow, right? So at this point, my Chrysler 300 has been wrecked. It's out of commission. I don't have a chance to drive in the snow. In the snow. So top left is my 300 rear wheel drive on dry pavement. Bottom left is Mike's rear wheel drive, uh, sorry, our all wheel drive in, in dry pavement in two wheel drive mode, right? It's uh, about 42 degrees and, and not raining or whatever it might be. The main thing to take a look at though is going to be the screen on the right. And that's showing Mike's car all wheel drive in the snow. And what's fun here is it actually beats the other two in drive payment to 50 miles per hour. Obviously this is spinning some amount, but immediately after he cuts this clip off, it starts, I'll say, decelerating, but it only goes down about 45, I think 47 or 48 miles per hour. So yeah, I mean, it was spinning, but it wasn't that much. It was really surprising to me how much traction that car had all wheel drive in the snow. So take a look, I'll pause it once his car hits 50 in the snow and you can see the speeds that the other cars are at in dry pavement.
a couple things that we kind of found out like during this and some research is I don't know I, I expected the all-wheel drive and the real-wheel drive to have the exact same drive frame minus you know all-wheel drive but in fact the all-wheel drive version has better uh, numerically higher gearing so it's actually going to have some better straight line um, acceleration given the weight difference uh, Mike and I we both took our vehicles to the exact same scales uh, small town Clayton Indiana and and found out exactly how much it weighed and to tell you the truth there's only about a hundred pound difference between the vehicles his all-wheel drive being about a hundred pounds heavier and I'll put the weights on the screen as well so everybody can see what we're working with if this is a video that you like it'd be great if you subscribed or hit the like button uh, leave a comment if you want to see some other testing between rear wheel drive all wheel drive and if I get my 300 back then happy to do so so there's the results surprising as they might be so now you know I mean do you want all wheel drive depending on where you live or do you want rear wheel drive uh, you guys can make the decision off the video so uh, until next time stay safe show me your tail lights <laughs>